this is just a brief overview and just a quick one as I welcome you to our IS class. Um, I'm introducing you to Canvas, which is new, which has, you know, your courses and dashboards, your accounts. Um, I'm in a student file. This is what it's going to look like when you log in. You scroll down. There'll be some icons in here. I haven't replaced them yet. You'll also see me and your information about where I'm at, okay? I'm at the Herndon campus where my office is. I teach on the Clovis campus on um, Tuesday and Thursdays. And we'll get to that in just a second. But you'll see announcements are here. So if you click on them, I have some announcements that are going to come. You have not received them yet. This is just all early. Uh, my syllabus, this is a big deal right here. My syllabus, it'll pop up here eventually, um, is right here. You can download it if you wanted to. You can look over it. And you can also come down here and you see my timeline. Um, online class and traditional class, um, there's different timelines. Those timelines can change. Uh, my syllabus is pretty up. Um, up to date, okay, and then to get modules is where all the assignments are for every week, okay. So you're going to click here, and you'll notice at the top, this is how you log in to SimNet and Connect. Um, I have a video coming up on how to register. It's real easy. What I want you to do, if you haven't bought the um, code yet, just get the 30-day, or I think it's a 13-day trial. We'll cover that in just a little bit. But week one, you see, it tells you what to do. I have a little bit of announcement. Um, how's you look at my syllabus, how's you look at my timeline. We use a thing called remind.com and if you see, um, if I, I'm going to click on it. Okay, if we click, um, it'll come up or you can actually open it. And it tells you if this is for my online class only. If you're traditional, you use something else, so don't, don't be all, uh, don't freak all out. But for my online classes, they type in 81010 and they type this in the message and they automatically get to my remind information. Um, Remind is very critical for both classes, traditional or online. There are two different codes, and if you're in my traditional class, when you click on here, your code will come up. Okay, traditional means you're in class, you have to see me and listen to my jokes all the time. Um, also, the big deal is how to forward your email. I send every, there's an inbox here in Canvas, and it goes to your district email by default. Well, some of you guys don't like your district email or don't check it enough. Um, this video will show you how to forward your district email to your Google or your um, anything you have at Apple or whatever you want because you check regularly because it's it's a big deal. Okay, so this will show you how to forward your district email account to another email. Okay, there's going to be a tutorial right here. You're going to click on. It's going to talk about orientation. It'll be up by the time this is live. You're going to have to register this first week for Connect and for SimNet. You can both of these, you can have a 30, I think it's a 13 day trial version. It's very important though that you go get the codes right away, okay? Because some people think, hey, I got 13 or maybe 18 days until I need to go get it. The problem is they'll be out by that point and you're out of luck because a test is coming in. I'm not resetting the test because you were lazy. This gives you 13 days, so if you can't get it on the first day, you can get it on the second day. These codes are only found at the Clovis Community College bookstore. When you go in, they're not where all the other books are. They're back by where the um, uh, uh, where the clerks are. You got to ask them for it because all it is is cards, and you um, enter some codes. I have videos on these coming up, but I want you to get on top of it right away. If you don't have a credit card to buy today, that's fine. Okay, if you're a frugal person, you think I can find it online cheaper? You're wrong. I've worked with the publisher. Um, if you were to buy one of these pieces of software alone, because it's also a digital textbook, um, it would cost you about, uh, for one of them, it's like 130 For both of them online, it ends up being two something. I get, I have worked out a deal at the bookstore. I think you get it for uh, after tax and everything, like 128 or at least the bookstore part price is 128 which is an extremely good deal, okay? I, I, you can't get a better deal than that. So get in there. Um, I'm sorry, take your mom, dad's, or your credit cards, or borrow some money. Get it as soon as possible because if they run out, it takes a little bit of time to get it, and I'm not resetting tests. Big thing we have our first week, as I scroll down here, the big thing we have is a discussion question. So if you click on it, it'll load, and what you have to do, it talks about who you, basically I want to know who you are, where you're from, when you're comfortable with technology and interests, okay? And all you have to do is hit reply, okay? And once you do, you can post anything you want, and you'll then you won't see anybody else's replies until you post. So it's very important that you get in here and post some of your work. So that's that's one of them. 
The other thing you have to take is after you watch the orientation video, you have to take your syllabus and orientation quiz. These two things have to be done before the end of the first week, and it's listed on the syllabus timeline when you have to have it done. Um, this is how I view that you were a no-show to class. If these are not done by the deadline, you see here it says August 24th is your deadline for the discussion board, and your quiz will be somewhat very close to that same date, the 24th. Um, if you do not have your discussion board done and, and posted, and you do not have a syllabus quest, uh, quiz completed, you will be dropped for a no-show. Okay, You will be dropped. If you look right here, it's very easy. All you have to do in the discussion board is just post and go to town. Okay, You don't need to change anything around. don't need to search. You just need to reply to it. Um, coming back again. Um, and then next week, I see it because you know, I'm, I'm, I already got next week planned out. Your second week. So your second week, it'll have everything listed of what you do. You, we can go here and look. It's not available yet. But you're going to have some SimLinet training. You're going to have some logging in. You're going to have some um, notes from um, uh, Chapter 2. And you're going to have a lecture on Chapter 2 to watch. Okay, so it's all very, very important that you get this stuff done. I wanted to go over the interface with Canvas. If you look at grades, you can see right here, you can see your grades. I don't have any points posted. You can see the due date when something's happening. You can print your grades off. It's a pretty easy system. Um, in my class, this is all you're going to be able to work with. You have announcements, you got a syllabus, and timeline in there, and modules. Modules is what you're going to do every week. It's the day-to-day -day work. I'm really looking forward to this class. I love teaching IS-15. We're in Canvas. I have online students. I have face-to-face -face students. Um, we're all merged together, and we're going to get this done. Um, get your discussion boards done. Get your quizzes done. Make sure you get on to Remind.com. Look at the code for your class. It's very important. Get your code only, um, and you will get off to a great start. Pick up your codes at the bookstore, your, your um, Connect and Synnet codes. And other than that, that's what you have to do the first week. Um, follow your syllabus. It says in there what to do, um, how to get a hold of me in the orientation. I'm a pretty easy guy to get a hold of. I'm just not available on Saturdays and Sundays. Other than that, I will talk to you as the semester gets going, and I hope everything works out great.